So earlier this week, I held a training class. It was an intro to SolidWorks beginners training class. And I love teaching, I love working with the students and to help them follow along with all the different picks and clicks that I'm doing, I like to reset my colors back to the default color settings while I'm teaching. But now the class is over and now I'm ready to change back and I thought this would be a good time to show all of you how to set up SolidWorks to work in dark mode. So we're gonna start out by going up here to the top of the screen to this icon for options. And once we click into our options, we're gonna go to our system options and then we're gonna go down to colors. And here we can see we can change the color for the icon. So we can make all the icons green and yellow, kind of the classic icon style. I actually prefer this style most of the time, but I'm gonna leave it default for now. And we can also change the background color and here we can change this to dark and hit OK down at the bottom and boom, we are good. We have a SolidWorks background now. It's kind of skinned where the command manager is all dark. It's got white text. The pull down menus are changed. The SolidWorks logo has been skinned with white font. And even the feature manager design tree has been changed here so that it's using all white font. So that all looks good. The only problem is the actual graphics area in SolidWorks is still kind of using a lighter theme. Now we could adjust this by changing this option here, apply scene, and we could choose maybe a backdrop with a gray overhead light. That looks kind of good. It's kind of darker, a little bit more in line with our dark theme. But the problem is that if we change to a different document or if we start a new document, we're not going to see that same theme. And the reason why is because changing the scene here is a template setting. So we would have to go through and change it in all of our templates and we'd have to go through every model we currently have and make that setting there as well. And I really don't think that's what we want to do. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to change this back to our plain white scene and we're gonna to go to our options again. So once again, up top here to the options, once again, go into system options colors, and we're gonna use this option down here. This is the option for gradient, top bottom gradient colors as shown above. So top gradient color, bottom gradient color. So we're gonna choose that option for gradient. This is a system option, which means it's gonna affect all of our documents. So now all of our documents are gonna be using a gradient background. And then for our gradient color, we'll set the top gradient to be maybe just a little bit darker there. And then we'll set the bottom gradient color to be, let's just go with black, all black. And so we hit okay. And boom, now we've got a dark theme for the user interface and a dark theme for the graphics background. If we switch to our bass guitar assembly, we see that that's using the dark theme. And if we choose new and choose a new template, we see that that is also using the dark theme. So that is how you go through and change SolidWorks to work in dark mode. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment down below. And if you wanna take some classes with Toby, be sure to visit us at twotalltoby.com training.